Welcome back. Check out who arrived early. It is the Prime One Studio, Jimenez, Joker. I am super pumped for this piece, so let's get started. All right, so this statue is one box, which is great. Um, you know, it's always good when you get one box uh, versus two, especially for the shipping. So it's one box, two layers. Uh, here's a look at the first layer, which is the bottom layer. Um, and looking at the assembly instructions, um, there's really not that many parts. If you look at the two legs, you know, th those are your two options for the, the, the swap outs for the legs, but pretty much everything else is already included in one solid piece, like the film reels, uh, that little Batman doll, his body, you know, the arms, the jacket, the base, it's just all attached in one solid piece, which is uh, really interesting. And uh, really nice. So there's not too many uh, areas uh, that need to be assembled here other than, um, you know, whatever legs you choose to put on and just a few little hand swap outs and the portrait. So pretty cool seeing that this is all one solid piece. Put that to the side for later. So now this is the first time um, I opened the statue. So you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. And right away, uh, the first thing that I'm noticing is this base looks a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. I do have the Arkham City Harley Quinn, which has a really uh, large round base, and I'm wondering if this is pretty similar to that in size. So here's an overview shot of the bottom layer of the base. Taking a look at what's inside. Here's going to be the majority of the statue. You have Joker, the body with the uh, the chair, the base, the film reels, the Batman doll. Uh, this little foam pad to keep him from moving around. And here we have, looks like his hand holding the Joker cane. Looks really cool. Uh, first impression is that color looks really, really awesome. I love the vibrant purple. Really cool. All right, let's swing over to the other side. This looks like it's going to be the portrait. Okay, we have this portrait face down. Sorry, I'm trying to get this off with one hand okay so looking at the portrait wow yeah this looks really 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 good i mean he looks good in photos but man prime one nailed this when i think of joker this is the joker i think of uh that's one of the reasons why i wanted to order this statue and why it's so highly anticipated for me in my collection i've been waiting you know, what feels like forever for this to come in. And man, it was totally worth the wait. Yeah, I can't wait to get this all assembled. So, all right, let's see. I think that's it for the bottom layer. Yeah, I could just actually just help double check the uh, assembly instructions. So, yeah, the first layer is just, uh, you know, the base and the body, the cane and the portrait. And then moving on to the top layer of the box, we're going to have the legs and everything else. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so here's that top layer of the box. Everything is still wrapped. So we have one set of legs, which are open. I'm still not really sure which ones I'm gonna use um, for display. I kind of like the way they both look. Uh, I guess once I get it all set up, I'll decide or maybe swap it out from time to time. But, yeah, so far looking good. Uh, that's the first set of legs. Right next to that is going to be the second set of legs that this comes with. Uh, I believe the swap out legs is like, um, you know, like the deluxe or the bonus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a separate option. So you can buy the statue with just one set of legs. And then if you, you know, up to the uh the next level of the purchase you know for a little bit more money you can get the second pair of legs uh i forget which one is is the bonus parts 
Might be, yeah, I'm not sure. I would have to double check. One of them doesn't come with the statue, though, so you got to make sure you get the bonus uh, deluxe version if you want to get both set of legs. All right, so here's the other set of legs. We'll get that out of the box when we get this all set up. Over here. Looks like, all right, yep, this is going to be uh, his hand, which holds the Batman cowl, broken in half. Kind of has, uh, you know, like the, the Phantom of the Opera look to it that they're going for. This looks like it's going to be the hand that's holding the Batarang with the Joker smile on it. And again, first impressions is, wow, look at the shine on that paint. Really, really love the way that purple catches the light. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's coming up uh, blue on camera, but in person it's, uh, uh, you know, a deep purple. I'll try to see if I can fix the color correction on that later. Yeah, it's very blue right now, but in person it's actually purple. See, maybe against the uh, the white background. That's yeah, a little bit better. But it's definitely a lot more bluer on camera. It might be uh, the sheen. So it's uh, very sparkly, catches the light. All right, so moving around the box. Got another part here. Uh, a lot of these are hard to open with one hand, so I'll do that later. This is just going to be another Batarang. Looks like we have another same, similar Batarang right here. I believe these get pegged into the base. Yeah, we could just double check the instructions again. So, oh yeah, we're missing, I didn't open uh, the one with the clown mask. All right, so yeah, we got the, the Batman cowl. Uh, you got the swap out hand holding the Batarang. The two separate Batarangs, looks like there's gonna be another hand right there oh that's the the finger that goes up to his face all right so instead of trying to do this all, all with one hand let me get this assembled and i'll be right back and we'll go over everything okay so i got the base out of the box and man this thing is heavy and it was very difficult to get out of the box because as i mentioned earlier it is just one solid piece so before i get them fully assembled uh i'm just going to give you a quick overview of what everything is looking like uh before all the parts go on so, uh, first impressions is I absolutely love the colors of his, uh, his clothes, you know, the, the black with the, uh, it's like this greenish color, very vibrant looking, you know, I used to own the Libra Mayho Joker. And for me, the, the colors were just very muted and dark, uh, for me, Joker, I like those bright colors and I just really love the way, uh, Jimenez uses, you know, he does it in a lot of his, um, his artwork. He uses like these like turquoises and purples and like blues, like it's almost like these neon colors that really complement each other, uh, really well. So yeah, so this is just one piece. This is how it comes. Looks really good. Get all the texture with the leather and the jacket and the stitching. Coming down the back, you have the J for Joker, uh, really nicely painted. It's got like this metallic finish to it, which catches the light. Really nice. All the different ha-ha-has on the side. So now this is a chair from inside of a, a theater. You know, he's like watching a show. Same thing on this side, like a some type of paper or whatever <laughs> stuck to the chair. Colors look really nice. Got like this brownish maroon color. Almost like a, uh, a bronze color here. Uh, the chair itself is concrete with cracks in it and you can actually see the bricks coming through through the back where it's broken. So that's really, really nice. I guess this would be more of 
maybe the back of the building because I don't I've really seen any chairs made from a uh, concrete so not really sure about that but yeah uh again you have those red colors backwards J complement you know the mirror effect on the other side here's a look at that Batman doll he's got his mouth all zipped up that's pretty funny colors look really good very vibrant very colorful Here's one of those uh, Jokerized Batarangs. This is attached to the base. You can't remove it. Again, you got those high gloss metallic colors. It really pops in person. You got a cinema ticket. I should say two cinema tickets. Again, attached to the base. Looks really, really good. Got all these movie film reels. The old weathering label, make them look like they're really, really old. Everything looks really great. I like the way this is painted a lot. The paint is really nice. Love all the weathering. So yeah, this is uh, the front of the chair. Very city, um, similar to the Arkham City Harley with that red chair. All the cracks and textures in the, uh, the leather. Same thing on this side with the uh, the bright red J. Got his jacket overflowing onto the chair. All right, so his legs are gonna key in right there. So let's get those next. All right, so here's the first set of legs. They have these foam felt pads on them. So when you slide the legs in, you don't scratch them up. Uh, the same thing is going to be on the back. So when he touches the chair, you're not scratching up the paint. So really cool of them to do that. So let's see. Just going to key in. Like that. Sorry, Joker, I got to squeeze on you. your crotch area there to push you in. All right, so, yeah, that's looking good. So, again, got the purple pants. Looks really good with all the lines and the textures within the clothing. Coming down, you have the high black socks. Looks really nice. Has, like, this elastic look to it. You can see the textures, kind of gives it like this elastic appearance. Really nicely done. Look at his shoes. Again, great job with the leather. Prime One is always great doing uh, leather textures. Shoelaces, I feel like maybe like a rubbery plastic material. They're not uh, too soft where, you know, you touch them, they're going to fall off. So they're, they have a little bit more of a hard feel to them. But they feel very sturdy and, uh, you know, doesn't feel too fragile like it's going to break or anything, which is great because I hate when there's fragile parts on statues. All right, so he got his feet resting on the base. I probably have to push him in a little bit more. I was doing it with one hand. All right, so let's see if I can. All right, I'll have to do that with two hands off camera. All right, so here's how he's looking so far. Uh, I guess we can put on the portrait next, so let me go grab that. All right, and here is a look at him with the portrait on, and man, he looks evil. He looks sinister, and I absolutely love it. He looks cool. Man, that looks good. Very realistic take on the Joker. Doesn't look cartoonish or anything. Really nice skin textures. The painted white face. It's kind of like a, a grayish white. You got two different colors going on with the hair, with the green. So you got some green highlights with the lime green. Darker greens for the shadows. Teeth look really good. Nice gloss shine on them, same with the lips. 
Everything is really nicely painted. The eyes look incredible. Very realistic looking. That would probably be my number one compliment for this statue is he looks super realistic. Like this could be like a real life Joker you would see in, you know, in person. Doesn't look, uh, you know, too comic booky or cartoonish at all. Really nice. All right, so let's get some of the, uh, the arm swap outs put on and see how he looks. All right, so here is one look with him fully assembled. Uh, one of the display options. I got his hand put on where he's holding up his grin. Very creepy looking. Uh, I also put on those batarangs. One goes right there in the base. And then you got another one sticking out on that side. They look really good. Uh, oh, I also put on this hand. It's one of the switch outs that you could use. Looks really cool. Uh, the mask in person has this purplish tint fade. It fades up into white. So like the bottom of the mask looks a little bit more purple and then the top of the mask is more white. Looks really nice. It's looking really, really good so far. So yeah, this is one of the uh, options you can use for a display. I think this might be the one that I go with. Either that or with him holding uh, the Joker cane in this hand. Not quite sure yet. But yeah, I'm really loving this so far. All right, so let me switch up that arm and get over to the, the next look for him. Okay, so here's the next look you can have. Uh, if you didn't want to use that clown mask, you can have him holding the Joker cane. It's got that really bright purple. It's got a little bit of a, a sheen on it, like a high gloss. Make it pop. Looks really nice. I really like the way the color stands out, but I think I'm leaning more towards uh, displaying him with the clown mask as of right now. We'll see as uh, time goes on. But yeah, here's how he's looking with the Joker cane. All right, so let me switch out his other arm. He has the other arm where it's holding uh, the cracked Batman cowl to make it look like Phantom of the Opera. So let's get that switched out. So before I get this put on, uh, I just wanted to point out, uh, well, first I just want to say the front of the mask looks really incredible with the textures and everything and the, the line work. Reminds me kind of like a, a Fabok cowl. But yeah, uh, one thing I didn't notice when I was doing the uh, the quick unboxing is, again, on the back of the mask, they use like, uh, you know, like a felt. So it doesn't scratch up his face when you put it on. So really cool. Thank you, Prime One, for doing that with your statues. They do that every once in a while so you don't scratch up things. So really nice of them to, uh, you know, think of the collectors and not have to worry about, you know, damaging the paint of your statue. So... Something just rolled. All right. <laughs> Got a little scared. I heard something roll. I thought it was going off the table. It's just his hand right there. All right. So here is the next look. Let me see if I can get that pushed in a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So the mask is like, you know, obviously like this plastic rubber material. You can see it does have a little bit of flex to it, which is good. So here's going to be a look at that. Looks really cool, really creepy. You can see his eye through the cowl. Really, really nice. Yeah, that's looking good. Here it is from this side. So that's another switch out option that you can display. Come around from this side. Sorry about the focus. 
There we go. Whoa. There we go. Look how creepy that looks. That looks really cool. Got his mouth and eye showing through the cowl. So, yeah, really cool. I really love the design of this cowl. Would love to see them do that on a Batman statue. All right, so let's switch out his next arm. Uh, he has an option to where he's holding the two Batarangs. So let's switch it out for that. Okay, and here's your next look at it. So now you can swap out, you know, the left and right hands, whatever swap outs you want to use. If you want to have the, you know, the clown mask with the cowl, you know, or the, the Joker cane with the cowl or the Joker cane, you know, with him just holding his finger up to his mouth. So there's a lot of different display options you can have for this. But here's a look at the other switch out. There we go. Now it's looking more purple on camera. Before it was looking blue. So you have these Jokerized Batarangs, you know, with his smile on it, you know, the gold teeth. Paint looks really good. It's got like this metallic sheen to it. Very cool looking. Swing around to the back. The uh, design repeats on the back side. Later on, I'll try to film this with better lighting at the end of the video so you can see things a little bit more clearer. Hopefully, it's looking good on camera right now. I'm filming this during the daytime. So, uh, you know, I got a lot of windows in this room, so sometimes the light messes with my uh, camera settings, so I apologize for that. But, yeah, he's looking really awesome in person. All right, let me get uh, the other legs sw uh, swapped out, and I'll switch up the hands again. Okay, so here he is with the, the second set of legs put in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, same thing with the first set of legs. He has two felt pads so that this doesn't rub up against it. And the same thing on his butt. He has a felt pad so it doesn't scratch the paint of the, the jacket or the chair. Really nice. Uh, these legs felt a little bit more stronger going in. They had a stronger pull on the magnet. Uh, I guess which is good because they kind of you know hang up in the air a little bit more. They're not as sturdy as two legs you know resting on the the base here so uh i'm not sure if i love i mean this look looks great don't get me wrong but i still think i prefer the look of the legs open being that he's a uh you know a sitting statue when you're looking at him straight on the legs kind of protrude out very you know far out so kind of throws off the i don't know just the I don't know. <laughs> you, if you if you own the statue, you'll see what I'm saying in person. But um, yeah, they just stick out a little bit more. I don't know if I like that. I kind of like uh, with the legs open, where he's just more relaxed on the chair. But yeah, it's a cool option. Um, so far, again with the legs, uh, my only my only complaint with this statue, everything is absolutely amazing. But with having multiple options comes having to store multiple spare parts so now you know you got to come up with a solution to store these giant legs and put them somewhere so i use like these storage cases with foam put in them and those are filling up quick uh now that i went to one third scale trying to store all these because I, I don't like keeping them in the styrofoam box especially where i keep my box i store them in the attic and uh you know the heat can get to the to the paint and might cause some rubbing or you know yelling with the paper so I never store my parts inside the box, so one set of legs is going to have to be put into storage somewhere safe. So, yeah, <laughs> first world problems of a collector, right? Too many parts. All right, so here's a look at those legs from the side. Looks really good. I like it better from a side angle. I don't really like them coming, you know, straight on. But yeah, he's looking good. Uh, I swept out the, the hands again. So we got, we're back to the clown mask and him holding up his grin. I think that's the look I'm going to go for, except with the legs open. So yeah, that's going to wrap up uh, this part of the video. Uh, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a little 360 display of him. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.